Hello, this is Maria Riccelli from BNC Software, the SOM Technical Marketing. Today, I'm going to explain you how to leverage service pools in TrueSight Capacity Optimization. Service pools have been introduced as a new concept in TrueSight Capacity Optimization version 11.5. A service pool is a group of resources that form an infrastructure or technology layer tier within an application of business services. On the right hand side, an example of business service hierarchy with some applications and some tiers highlighted in green, which are a representation of what is in essence a service pool. This grouping of resources is useful for capacity planning because they contribute to shared workloads and are usually sized together. Service pools can be created at the time of the business service view configuration. As an administrator, you will need to access the settings page on the business service view from TrueSight Console and access the service pool creation tab. Choose the domains containing business services to create a service pool. Service pools will be created only for the selected domains containing supported system types and technologies. Select the tag type for service pool creation. Not the tags are not mandatory for service pool creations. Tags should be set for servers for better capacity planning and optimization. Service pools are essential for the computation of indicators for applications and business services upon which the business service view is built. Service pools will appear in the workspace of the TrueSight Capacity Optimization Console, as well as be represented in other subpages of the business service view. Anytime you need to add or remove service pools, you need to click the wrench icon on the settings page of the business service view and add or remove business service domains and save it. Service pools are similar to capacity pools. Service pools consume the services that providers provide. For instance, virtual machines consume the services that are provided by hosts. In this case, a host is a provider and a virtual machine is a consumer. Therefore, we can say that the service pool represents the consumer point of view whereas the capacity pool represents the supplier point of view. You can use service pool to make analysis, models, and reports. You can use quick analysis. You can leverage existing analysis templates to create multiple charts with varying chart types. And in the system type filter, you will need to select the service pools as a type. You can also leverage existing models to create time series forecasts models and report and share with your stakeholder those results. Let's take a look. Service pools can be created by accessing the TrueSight Console Business Service View and then the Settings page, from which it is possible to add or remove domains to uh, create additional service pools or remove some of them, and specify a tag type of interest for service pool creation. A server will be assigned to default service pools if no value is assigned for the selected tag type. Now let's jump on the TrueSight Capacity Optimization Console. For this demo, I'm going to focus on my AWS infrastructure domain, and in particular, I'm going to focus on the business service called HR Service Management. For each uh, business service domain, a new entry in the tree, which is the service pools folder, is created once they are added in the settings page of the business service view. And as you can see here, I have four different service pools that were created on the basis also of the tag type selected. In this case, for example, I have an app pool, a DP pool, a web pool and a generic HR service management. Uh, for example, the application pool does contains all the instances that were targeted with uh, um, the app tier tag type app. Now, if we go at the uh, service pool level, um, for each service pool, the tool is able to automatically compute metrics, which can be accessed from the metrics tab here. And from here, you can easily access and use the quick analysis by using the quick analysis icon and quickly check what is going on with, for example, CPU utilization in this case over the last seven days. Together to quick analysis, you can also use out of the box templates for analysis and models. For example, I did create an analysis based on the CPU utilization template 
to identify the most consuming service pool with respect to CPU utilization over the last 180 days. In addition to that, you can also leverage time forecasting models to practically understand if there will be any service pool uh, which will be uh, saturating. So that's just an example of how you can leverage service pools to better do capacity planning within your applications and business services. Thanks for watching.